When it is necessary to create a sheet metal cone or cylinder, you must create the profile in that shape from the start. There is no way to completely roll the part into a cylinder from the flat state. Let's start a sketch on the top plane of this new part and use the three-point arc tool to create the profile of the sheet metal cylinder. I'm using a three-point arc instead of a circle because the profile must have a gap so that it can be flattened. You can make the gap as small or as large as necessary. Next, I'll use the base flange icon from the sheet metal toolbar to define the sheet metal part. After completing the base flange, you can use the flatten icon and the cylinder will be unfolded into a flat pattern. Because the part is now essentially one giant bend, many of the sheet metal features such as edge flanges cannot be added. You can, however, create cuts. If you wish to create cuts in the flat pattern, remember to use the unfold and fold features. Let's take a look at creating a cone. To do this, I will start with a cone-shaped solid part. I used a revolve feature, but you can use any feature that will result in a cone. Next, I will apply the shell feature in order to make this a thin-walled part. In the Faces to Remove selection window, I will pick the top and bottom faces. I am almost ready to convert this to sheet metal, but I need to add a cut to this part before it can unfold. A through-all cut using a rectangular sketch works fine for this. Now I can convert this into sheet metal by using the Insert Bends feature. In the Fixed Face or Edge Selection window, I'll click this edge and click OK. The part can now be unfolded. 